Good morning everybody. It's Sunday the 5th of July and it's very windy in West Yorkshire today. Goodness me, it's blowing a bit of a gale. Um, so thank you very much for joining us this morning for our online Sunday school. As always, if you don't want to watch, that's fine. If you want to watch, that's brilliant. Um, we are going to talk about God and Jesus, so we don't want to sort of upset anybody. Um, but if you do want to watch, even if you don't believe in God, that's fine too. So as always, we're going to light our candle. That's the first thing we do when we have our Sunday school. So here's our candle. And um, oh gosh, I can't remember how many weeks are we now into lockdown. I know everything started easing up a bit, but we still can't go to church, can we? Seems like an awful long time ago we went to church. It was March, I think, wasn't it, the last time we went to church. Right, so we're going to light our candle. Blow that out. Thank you. And this morning, we're going to pray as we light our candle for all those people who are poorly. Um, dear God, send out your light to heal those people who are feeling a bit poorly, a bit anxious, whether it's physical health or mental health. They're just feeling a bit worried about everything that's going on. Please send out your light to all of those people that need it. Amen. Right, we're going to put our candle very careful. We're always smoking this morning. A bit, of, uh, a bit of black smoke coming off the candle. Must be dust. Probably need to dust a little bit, don't I? I don't like dusting. So, this morning, we're going to do a... It's only going to be a little Sunday school. Um, we covered a lot of this in our church service this morning, uh, which we did on Zoom, which was a lot of fun. Me and my little girl, we uh, we joined in doing a dance, and it was called "I Can Walk with Jesus." Um, and it had lots of actions, and it. it was really really fun. So maybe we can do that another day. I don't know. So we're going to talk today about uh, Jesus talking to the crowd because he, he did a lot of chatting, didn't he? He told lots of stories and things. And my very special helper is going to read the passage for us. So um, she's going to do it in a nice big loud voice and nice and clear. Not shouting though, okay? Right, over to her. Jesus speaking to the crowd. What are you like? Who are like children playing wedding and funeral games? You sit and watch and shout to each other. We played the flute and you did not dance. We were sad and wept, and you did not cry with us. John the Baptist came. Jesus said to them, He did not go around eating too much or drinking. And what did people say? They said, He has a demon in him. Then I came along eating and drinking. And what did they say? They said, That man eats too much. He drinks too much. He is a friend of tax collectors and even sinners but God's wisdom is proved by its results Jesus started to pray thank you father God of heaven and earth you have hidden these things from the wise and the clever and revealed them to children this is what you want my father has given me everything only he truly knows the son and only the Son truly knows the Father. But the Son wants to tell others about the Father too. He said to the crowd, Come to me, anyone who is tired and carrying a heavy load, and I will give you rest. Then he looked at the people around him and said, Take the yoke I give you. And learn from me. I am gentle, my yoke is easy, and the load I give you is not too heavy. You'll find rest for your souls. Thank you, that's beautifully read. So, there's a couple of things. That's a very, it's a very long bit, that is a well, good reading. But there's a couple of things in there, isn't there? So, the first thing Jesus was talking to the crowd, and he says, What are you like? You're like children. Now, the first time I read it, I thought, well, that's a bit rude, isn't it? If he's telling the children, uh, if he's telling the grown-ups they're like children, is he saying that they're immature? 
But then when you start thinking about it, what he's saying is you need to be like children because he'd already said that children will enter the kingdom of heaven. And we need to be more like children as well, us grown-ups. Um, and he was saying, we played the flute and you did not dance. We wept and you did not cry. And in the Bible passage, he's saying that they're, they're playing, the children are playing at being grown-ups. And they're playing at weddings and they're playing at being at funerals. Um, I suppose the same as you might play when you're at home. You might play being teachers or mums and dads or something like that. And I know that I've seen lots of children pretending to get married and things like that in the playground or at school. Because it's just it's part of make-believe, isn't it? So Jesus is saying that we, we do, we need to be more like children, us grown-ups. And you kids, you carry on being kids. Don't grow up too quickly. There's no need to. You've got plenty of time of being an adult, honestly. So have fun while you can. And then he's saying something else. He's saying that, that the people, the, and he's talking about the, the grown-up teachers, the Pharisees. Do you remember that, that word? They were some of the people that taught about religion. And they didn't always maybe teach the right things about religion. It was what they believed at the time. But now we've looked at it and, and we understand a little better, don't we? We understand about being kindness. Um, so he's saying about the Pharisees, do you know, it doesn't matter what you do. These teachers of, of God, sometimes they'll say you're doing the wrong thing anyway. Um, and he said, so where is it? John the Baptist, he came and he didn't eat or drink. And they said, oh, there's something wrong with him. He doesn't eat and drink. He's a bit of a funny one. Mm. But then Jesus came and he did eat and drink. And they said, oh, he's greedy and he drinks too much. He's a drunkard. So it doesn't matter what they did. It was wrong according to the Pharisees. But God knows. God knows that it's okay to do either. If you want to fast or if you want to eat. It's all about how you personally celebrate God and Jesus. And we all celebrate in different ways. Some people, they do kind acts. Some people go to church. Some people pray for a long time. Some people pray with their eyes open. Some people pray with their eyes closed. Um, sometimes we put our hands together. Maybe we put our hands together. Maybe we put our head down. Maybe we put our arms up when we pray. It's all praying, but it's all in different ways. And that's perfectly fine. But what you can't do is say, your way's wrong, because that wouldn't be kind. And Jesus was all about being kind, wasn't he? And then the next bit, Jesus is praying and he says, thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have hidden these things from the wise and the clever and revealed them to the children. So he's saying, actually, the Pharisees, who are the ones that have studied the um, holy laws, they don't actually know. They haven't seen, maybe not with their eyes, but with their brains and their thoughts. They haven't seen like the children have. The children, they understand. They get it. And he, then he says, my father's given me everything and only he knows the son. And only the son knows the father. But the son wants to tell the others about the father. So Jesus is passing his message on. And then he says to the people listening, come to me, anyone who is tired and carrying a heavy load. Well, when he says a heavy load, he doesn't mean like, are you carrying some boulders or some really heavy buckets? What he's saying is, have you got worries? Have you got stuff on your mind? Because sometimes, especially with grown-ups, we worry about things all the time. And if you're worrying about stuff and it's on your mind, it's a load. And... Sometimes it makes you feel tired and it makes your shoulders come down. And you think, oh, I, I am bearing a load, my load. And he says, if you're worrying about stuff, come and talk to me and I'll help you out. And we can't pick up the phone, can we? Like, hey, Jesus, dude. We could, we could maybe, we could pray like that. Hey, Jesus, dude. I've got all these, this stuff on my mind. I could really do with a hand, actually. I've got this, this burden that I am bearing. This heavy load. And he says, talk to me and I will give you rest. I will take that load off of you and, and give you a break from it and tell you not to worry because you don't need to worry about it so much. And then he looks at the people and he says, take the yoke I give you and learn from me. I am gentle and my yoke is easy and the load I give you 
is not too heavy. He's not saying it's not heavy, he's saying it's not too heavy. And you will find rest for your souls. So, we had to work out what's a yoke, didn't we? Because yeah. we we know about it, and it's not a yoke like you get in an egg. That's Y-O-L-K. We're talking about yokes, which are Y-O-K-E. And you have two different types of yokes. So we're going to talk about both of them just quickly. So one, if you've seen Horrible Histories, I bet you have, maybe you've seen the peasants in Horrible Histories with a big piece of wood over their necks, and then they have it coming over their shoulders, and then they have two buckets hanging off of it. It kind of looks like that. So that bit is where your, your neck would go, go behind your neck. And it's a big piece of sturdy wood. And then you could hang your buckets off of it. So if you went to get water from the well, maybe, um, and what it does is it evens it out. Have you ever carried two really heavy buckets? Oh, it makes your arms ache. Oh, and you end up on your shoulders all the way down to the floor because you're carrying these big heavy buckets. But if you've got a yoke, your shoulders are helping with the weight in your back. It's not just from your arms. So maybe you could carry um, corn from the fields or food or if you're feeding the animals, water, lots of different things. So that's one type of yoke. And Jesus is saying, if you've got this yoke around your neck and it's really, really heavy, I'll swap it for my yoke because I'm not going to give you as many, as many hassles as much, as much worry. I'm going to take some of that worry off of you. I'm going to empty your buckets a little bit so it's not so heavy and your back's not hurting so much. And the other type of yoke, now you have to excuse this because Eva got very excited earlier and she jumped on the piece of paper and she kind of screwed it up a little bit. And it's this, this is our yoke. And this is a yoke that oxen would have used. Now, the oxen, what would happen would be that... Um, an oxen is a cow, basically, a big cow, a big strong cow. And in the old, in the olden days, before before I was born and before my dad was born, and probably before his dad was born, actually, so it's quite a while ago, the the big cows or the oxen or maybe horses, and in some countries this is still used, they would have this big piece of wood, and see these bits here, you have one cow's head there, and one cow's head there. And then behind them, through this hoop here, they'd have like a chain, and it would attach to the plough. So they'd plough the fields. So the oxen would have to work together, and they would pull the plough, and, and it would plough the fields, ready for the farmers to plant their things. But instead of being oxen in here, I'm going to write something else. So let me find a good pen that works. So this side, I'm going to put me, me on that side, see, I've, I am pulling one side, and it's really heavy, it's really hard work, but on the other side, we've got a very special person, and he's helping us pull. On that side, we've got Christ. And this comes from the, the um, book of Matthew in the New Testament, chapter 11, verse 29. Take the yoke I give you and learn from me. So what's happening here is Jesus is pulling at the same time as we are. He's helping us. He's walking alongside us. So we're not alone with any of the burdens that we have. We're not alone. We've always got Jesus Christ and God walking at our side. And I think that's nice to know, isn't it? That we're not alone when we've got some awful things on our minds, when we're worrying about school or we're worrying about coronavirus. We're worrying that we haven't seen our friends or our families. We have so many things going on in our heads, don't we? But anything you're worrying about, share it with Jesus because he's walking right beside you. So we were talking about weights, weren't we? I've got these stones, and I think these stones, are, they're quite good weights. They weigh us down, don't they? And I've got some little bits of paper here. So 
we are going to write our worries on a piece of paper. Me and my little helper. We're going to write one of your worries yes. on your, this paper and then we're going to stick it to the rock. That one? Okay. Can you think of a really uh, something that you're worried about? Friends and family. Okay, you're going to write friends and family. Okie dokie. Uh, what can I write then? Goodness me, I can't think of anything to write. That's no good, is it? <gasps> How about key workers? Key workers, yeah, because my husband, he is a key worker, and sometimes I do worry awfully about him because he goes off to work, and, and I think, oh, is he going to come back with this, this virus? But I don't think he does, really. Right, okay, so I'm going to put key workers. That's one of my worries key working lots of my friends are key workers as well because um, I used to be a key worker before I, I was I was lucky I, I got to stop work but I used to I used to work in residential homes and things so if the virus is, if um, if I was still working now I would have had to have gone to work as well right so we've got our bits of paper you've got your piece of paper okay oh where's the glue gone there it is <gasps> there glue right are you going to stick it on there yeah Come on, glue. There you go. Let's stick that on there. Let's stick this one here. Here. There we go. Right. That's it. Squeeze it on. Don't don't squish it too much because it might make your um your ink run. Okay. All right. So you're gonna hold your. So there's my my stone. Oh, Eve's come to join us. So there's my stone with key working. That's your stone. It says friends and families because you're worrying about them. Because we haven't seen our, you haven't seen your grandparents for such a long time, have you? No. You haven't seen any, we haven't, well, because they live a long way away as well. We've got some of our family live in Matlock and some of our family live in Bedford. And because of the virus, that stopped us. But even now, if when we can travel and see them, we can't really because we're not part of their bubble. So we still can't see them. It's, it's kind of sad, isn't it? We haven't seen people for such a long time. Right, so I'm gonna put your, put your stone in your hand. Right, let's say a little prayer, shall we? Okay. Dear God, thank you for taking our troubles and thank you for taking our, our weight away from us, our burdens. When we are worried, we know that you are there and you are ready to help bear our burdens. Amen. So there's our stones and hopefully soon we can take those stickers off can't we because we won't be worrying about them anymore and I, I feel already I feel much better because I know that I've just given my burden to God so I'm not so worried now because I know that he's going to look after your daddy. Nice. Excellent. So we're going to finish with a quick prayer. Um, okay. Okay, right. How are we doing it today? We're going to do this way, this way, this way? She's thinking about it. <laughs> You're going to do it like that? You're going to talk to Jesus? Okay, she's going to talk to Jesus with the telephone, right. Thank you, God, for friends and family. And thank you for taking our burdens away from us. Thank you for helping us to deal with all the stuff that's on our mind when we're worried and we're feeling anxious or stressed. Please be with those people who are feeling particularly anxious and stressed at the moment. We do worry about them. We talk a lot about physical health and sometimes mental health is forgotten. And it's very, very important to have good mental health. So please be with those who are worried, who are anxious, who are stressed, who think that there is no light at the end of the tunnel. We know there is a light and we are sending out our light our candlelight that we've lit today and hoping that, that you will show that light to those people that really, really need it at the moment. Lots of people are worried at the minute because lockdown's coming to an end, as it were. Things are reopening and people are worrying that maybe we're going to have another spike in this virus. People are feeling frightened and scared. So please be with them and take that burden from them. 
We'd like to pray for all the people that we know and all our other churches that we know. We're play, praying for West Ardsley, Tingley, East Ardsley, Middleton, Clapham, St Andrews in Hatfield and all the other churches that are watching. Please be with all of those church families and even further afield. Thank you for bringing us to this week and please look after us next week. Amen. Amen. Fab. Well, thank you very much everybody for watching. And um, we will try and get next week maybe to do the, uh, the song which says, um, I can walk with Jesus. And it's got some really, really cool actions actually. Um, you have to soar like an eagle because you haven't got any wings. Um, and then swim like a dolphin, but I haven't got any fins. And then I'm going to climb like a monkey and swing from tree to tree. But I can walk with Jesus and that's okay with me. Maybe we can do that next time. Right, well, thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. And we'll see you really soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye.